Hi everyone, so this is part two of day 10 and I am positioning the camera so I'm going to get in and uh, show you the process um, which I'm going through step two in my morning. First I'm washing and cleaning the whole area really well and um, just taking a really nice um, very clean face cloth and I dampen everything and just make sure that I'm all clean. And I do a lot of uh, hand sanitizer. Um, washing my hands uh, thoroughly, obviously, is um, what I do several times a day. Um, I know a lot of people don't like hand sanitizer. I do. I, I, I don't know whether it's a comforting thing or it's just me believing that, you know, uh, inside my long nails, everything is just a little extra clean. So I'm gonna, um, uh, prepare this whole area um, and so I'm going to use a little bit of um, Vaseline now um, call it vanity call it what you want um, my eyelashes I can't get anything uh, oil-based by my eyelashes so I stay clear of all of um, this area here with the Vaseline or anything with oil in it but I am putting a little bit around my eye so I can, when I put on the cream, it does not move up because I cannot take it if it gets in my eye. It gets all infected and I'm already pretty swollen. So I don't want to have any more heavier um, swelling going on. So I just really move it up and around and I do the same thing uh, for my mouth, just closer to just the top part because I do want to attack the cancer that's around the, uh, above my lip, but it's a crapshoot getting it in my mouth. I just, it's just terribly, terribly uncomfortable. Okay, so a little bit of Vaseline, and now I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of um, polysporin around this area of my mouth too, because it's absolutely imperative that um, I don't get this my mouth there and just mix it up there just so it's a little added um, precaution and it just a little added protection so I um, am now going to apply the medicine so I'll show parts of um, me doing that. So, um, so it's new, um, I ran out, so I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Um, so I'm applying, I'm gonna look down into my mirror down here and hopefully you can see. Oh, it's not fun. So it sinks in it right away. My skin is so dry over here, obviously. And so, and this one is the one that I really have to, I'm, I'm not happy with the progress here. I wanted this to, to be looking more like this so it gets deeper in the skin. This may have to be cut out at a, a different date. And just the excess here because they're already showing up so I might as well keep treating those suckers too until um, the end. This has a very medicine-y smell. It's so gross. It does not smell good and immediately when I put it on um, it starts to itch and burn. It, it, this is all like a hot burning flame. Um, this is pretty uncomfortable too when I'm moving my neck, as I said in my first video. So the things that um, help me with this um, are um, allergy, just like Benadryl, but I just do like the, the Life 
I don't know if you can read that, allergy formula caplets. Take um, two of these and um, sometimes they make people drowsy. I don't think they make me drowsy, but I know that they help with this itch. And um, so for six hours, um, and then I'm usually taking uh, Grau Balsam or the Life Brand anti nauseant because um, I, I just feel so gross and really um, nauseous and tired and all of this is just, it also um, really uh, makes me focus on my anxiety and I really have to take um, steps to remain calm because you can get yourself all worked up that oh my gosh is this gonna heal is this going to spread and so my anxiety goes through the roof um, but because I know all of this and um, I've been practicing on um, how to deal with it I just know that because I'm treating this um, the likelihood of it spreading is very minimal um, I am going to live a long and healthy life. I may have to do this for the rest of my life. But if that's the only thing, the only hardship that I go through again, then I'm fine with that. So I feel pretty lucky. Um, yeah, I feel kind of um, um, empowered today to really um, stick my face out there and uh, be vulnerable. I was um, trying to do that yesterday and I just didn't have the confidence to do it. I had a big scarf covering my face when I was outside and when I had to go and sign some uh, documents at uh, the school, I was really um, kind of nervous about how, how I looked and how I was presenting myself in front of strangers. So I just smile at them and, you know, just try to be tender with people and, um, you know, Hopefully they won't hurt my feelings too much, but yeah. So this is um, this is um, part two. So the tips and the tricks that I have, um, you know, I'm still also applying um, some really good moisturizers and taking care of my skin. Oh my gosh, I forgot the top tumor. Hello, when it, that's that's not uh, ever a good idea when you forget to treat an area that's staring you in the face. Um, don't tell my mom, I almost forgot, because she'll go, no, no, girl, get in there and do it. You got this. You dig? My mom is so cute. She sends me messages saying, you dig? And I'm, I'm, I think it's hysterical. I think it's so Carmen Stark. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions or any um, helpful tips or any thoughts or any suggestions, um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. When I get better, I'm going to go through all of the techniques that I use to heal this skin um, and all of this and, you know, sunscreens and application of makeup and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Things that make me feel very, very, very good and lots of glitter. And I'm going to keep putting on um, my lip balms and uh, yeah, it makes me very happy keeps my lips really really moist this is blue how cool is that I'm just gonna have blue lips today and I'm really good with that it makes me feel awesome I'm gonna look at the pictures of my legends Annie Lennox David Bowie Prince um, U2 I'm gonna do my 80s music do compilations I just keep myself really busy and um, thoughtful and I'm gonna be really, really easy on the people around me who have to take care of me because um, this really scares them, it really freaks them out. And I think that they feel powerless to help me or, um, you know, scared. And um, I just want everyone to know, I just, um, um, you know, things are good. I can do this, we can do this, and it's not scary. Okay, so if you uh, happen to like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you would love to be a subscriber, I would love to have you. And um, so I will um, reconnect with everybody um, in the next couple of days. We're almost finished. We're getting through this. So all my love to everybody. Bye.